just upstairs, it's not your average band practice that takes place. Here at St David's in Hobart, it's the art of bell ringing that's taught, and it's had a recent surge in interest. Well, I did do a bit of internet reconnaissance before I got here, and um, so, but before then I didn't really have any idea of what it would look like. Harry started learning the ropes this year. One of a number of new learners who made the cut before a wait list had to be put in place. I didn't know that bell ringers existed and I don't suppose I ever really thought about how the sound was made, um, but we did live um, over the water from this tower and the sound could travel when I was younger and so I, I did sort of grow up with the bells in the background. They meet every Monday night for practice, with tower captain Doug not quite sure where the boom in popularity has come from. And about a year ago, we were in a pretty desperate situation. We were in the situation where if any one of us was away, we had to cancel. It's just something that catches people's attention sometime or other. And yeah, it's a mix of people. It's not, you can't really predict who's going to be wanting to do it and who's not. It's a skill that takes years to master, making it extra satisfying when you get it right. I love the feel of controlling a bell. I love the sound of the bells. And then there's something about the rhythm when, when a band of really good ringers get together. Um, it sounds really special. While there may not be space for more people to join the band right now, there are still plenty of opportunities to hear the end result. Well, apart from Monday night practice and Sunday morning for the 10 o'clock service, um, we ring on Saturdays for weddings, and, and then sometimes over Christmas or New Year we um, ring just because we want to. Training up a new generation of bell ringers. Meg Whitfield, ABC News.